President Hosni Mubarak is finally a free man. Earlier this month and after his acquittal from charges of killing the January 2011 protesters, the prosecution decided that he should be released. He, however, got out from detention rather quietly. Here is Adel Mahrui with more. Throughout the last six years, Mubarak spent most of his time in prison at the Maadi Military Hospital. As of Friday, he is no longer a patient here. Without any media attention, the former president decided to go back to his Cairo house quietly. We must respect the court's verdict, despite the fact that it could hurt the feelings of many Egyptians. A revolution was united against Mubarak and his regime and his rule and the widespread corruption back then. We asked for him to be put in front of a revolutionary court, and had that happened, he wouldn't be a free man now. At 88, many Egyptians thought his detention was too much to handle. They were happy he was finally released. I think the man has been abused at an old age, and replacing him never brought change to the country. President al-Sisi may be doing his best, but corruption is still spread among the people. Others are confused. I didn't feel sorry for Mubarak, but it turned out he's not guilty. The talks about him stealing billions was only a rumor, and now I don't know where the truth is. Of all his court cases, Mubarak was only convicted in charges of embezzling government funds dedicated to renovate presidential palaces. He was sentenced for three years. His time in detention, though, exceeded that period. All the primary court cases against Mubarak are now over. He's involved indirectly in a corruption case for receiving expensive gifts from an Ahram organization. But experts are saying it's unlikely that he would get convicted. And there's another investigation going on that could turn to another court case against him if the Egyptian prosecution finds enough evidence to convict the former president. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.